Welcome! In front of me I have Zep e watch and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can do it by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button until you see the Zep logo on the screen, then you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you may see the list of languages on the screen. You can uh, scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And after you select the language, you will see the QR code on the screen of your watch, which means we need to download and install the Zep application on our iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and type in um, Zep. And tap on search. Oh, my bad, it should be two Ps, but as you can see, it found the app. It looks like this, it's called Zep. Tap on it to select it, then tap on the get button to download and install the application. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. Once the application opens, you may see a couple of pop-ups about the permissions. Um, for example, location permission. This one is required if you want to track your uh, routes and stuff like that uh, with your uh, watch, like running routes, cycling routes and stuff like that. So if you want to allow this permission, if you don't care, you can deny it. Next, we have the Bluetooth permission. This one is required, so tap on OK to allow it. And then we have the uh, allow the other uh, companies to access the data. I'm just going to tap on ask to not to track. And now we need to log in into a Zep account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on sign up or use the third party account to log in. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap right here, enter the email address and password. And I'm going to tap on sign in to log in. After you log in, you may see a couple more pop-ups about the permissions, for example, the uh, uh, access to your motion and fitness activity. So if you want to track your um, stuff like calories burned and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. Next, we have the uh, notification permission. So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And then we can tap on OK and allow the health access for the app. So basically, you can allow the app to read write the data like uh, heart rate running speed and stuff like that so if you want to use these features allow the permissions if you don't care you can deny them i'm just gonna tap on turn on all and allow it and finally after you're done with the permissions you should see the home page of the app now tap on the profile icon to open the profile page and here you should see the add device button tap on it select the watch category tap on agree tap on ok and it will open the camera app on your iPhone. And basically what you need to do is to point the camera of your iPhone on the watch to scan the QR code from the watch. Once you point, the, point it on the watch and it scans the QR code, it will start pairing the devices. Confirm the pairing by tapping on the check mark. You can restore the reminders if you want to. If you had other devices connected to your account, you can basically restore the reminders from previous times. I'm just gonna tap on Done Restore and tap on Done. Here we have the tutorial how to use the watch. And once you're done, you can tap on the Done button. And at this point, you should see the uh, device page for your Zep eWatch. Of course, you can also use your watch, as you can see. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.